Dear friends and followers, in this video I'm going to show you how to access camera and audio on your web page. So let's get started. I have an index.html here with a video element with an ID video and an autoplay tag and I have a script with, which is async that's pointing to capture.js. So in capture.js I'm also waiting for the load event on the page and then I'm calling the startup method. Inside the startup method, I can, I can look for navigator.media.devices and then .get user media. On the internet, you might find uh, references to navigator.get user media, which used to be callback based, but now it's deprecated, so you should not use it. You should use the new promise based media devices.get user media. And this method, you give it a set of constraints. The constraints could be audio true, for example, or audio false. And then you could have video, and then you would say the minimum width must be, etc. The max width should be, etc. You could also do ideal. You could provide a lot of constraints, but I'm simply going to say audio false and then video true. And then this is a promise, so you have to resolve it, and then you get a stream back. And in case there was an error, you can catch the error, and then you say, I'm going to pass uh, whatever error I'm get to console.error. And then inside of this, I first of all need to start by finding the video element here in the index.html. So I'm going to do const video equals document.get element by id video because we gave it an id video. Then I'll set the src object on this video to be equal to this stream. Okay, let's see if this works. I'll go back to my page, reload, and you see it kind of works, but you have a black screen. And that's very typical in 2017 because most probably your users will have this on their laptop. So yeah, it works. Hi everyone. I want to show you something else as well. If you click on elements on the video tag, if you want to make it full screen like Snapchat and Instagram. So you can see here there's some white space on top and below you can have the object fit and then cover. And now it looks exactly like Snapchat or Instagram. So I hope you enjoyed this small video and I'll see you soon.